Hello all, Prawn Gaming here, and today I'm going to be going through where Zer is and what he's selling this week, as this is the first time in Destiny 2 that he is coming to the game. Remember to like the video and share it as well. Anyways, so he'll be now spawning in the EDZ, Titan, Nessus and Io. So he'll no longer be spawning in the farm or the tower. Spoiler by the way, you get to go back to the tower. But this week though, he will be over in good old Nessus, where Cade was. More specifically, the Watcher's Grave. Now I'm going to cut to the Watcher's Grave. Alright then, I fast forward to where Zer is in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. As you can see, we've got this big tree to get to him. But when you do get to him, it is a lovely sight to see the beautiful bastard once again. Now, instead of using strange coins like back in D1, you use legendary shards. I'll go into a separate video on how to get them. But without further ado, let's get on to what he has this week. And for the weapon this week, it is Merciless, a fusion rifle. Now, with this, what the main perk does is when you get a hit with this, but you do not kill the enemy, it just shortens the charge time, which is super handy in the raid. I'll go a bit more in depth later on in this video, why it's handy. Then for the Hunters, you got the Radiant Flux, to where its main perk is that it just increases the duration of your Arc Staff and increases the damage output as well. Handy for a Hunter, but I'm not really one on my PlayStation. Then you got the Doomfang Cauldron for the Titan, to where its main perk is if you don't have a Shield Throw Charge, you bash an enemy with your shield and you get a Shield Throw Charge. And you'll be needing to use this if you want to use that. Then you got the Wings of Sacred Dawn for the OG Warlocks, to where you equip this and Dawnblade, jump up into the air, hold the trigger down for the aim trigger, and then it suspends you in mid-air and you can pop shots off. And if you continuously get precision damage against an enemy, it keeps you there longer, so it's pretty handy. Now as of the Merciless, it's really good against Emperor Callus, and as you can see I've already bought mine because I'm just in love with it now. It's such a beautiful weapon. But I've been Prawn Gaming, and I will see you on the Prawn side. Bye bye. <laughs>